So I appreciate uh, everybody's attention this evening. I know it's, um, well, it's, it's 4.30 here in Montana, um, and you guys are based in Utah, all of you? No, well, we're here in California, Dr. Mahi. The oh. three of Gigi and Dawn. I'm the only oh. one in Utah. Oh, there you go. Okay, so it's earlier for some of you. That's nice. Yeah, it's 3.30 here, uh, doctor. Okay. Um, and so you guys know that I'm based in Montana. Um, I've, I've seen you guys before, and I know that you are faculty, and I know that um, I just enjoy so much or I learned so much from, from you guys. And so I'm excited to see that I was able to come back and teach this group. Um, it's just uh, inspiring and empowering and I just appreciate everything that you guys um, are doing along with school and work and everything else. And so um, I just wanted to dive right into the course. So I will share my screen. Um, can you guys see the course modules okay? Yes, doctor, we can see it. Okay, yeah. all right. So, with that being said, uh, let's look at our syllabus. And so, here is my contact information. Feel free to send me a text uh, at any time. You know that I work all hours, uh, which, which we all do. And so if something's going on or you need to contact me, feel free to, you can leave that on, honey. Oh, these didn't turn that back on for me. Um, feel free to text me, just let me know who you are um, and I will uh, answer you. So you, I'll let you read through your uh, syllabus and then here is your uh, textbook. I hope you all have access to your textbook. And then here are our policies. You guys are all aware of these. Um, feel free to read them on your own. Uh, any questions about how to contact me at all? And so far, nothing. Okay. Um, let's go to announcements. So I would again ask that you guys read your announcements daily. This is where we will add important uh, information for you. Uh, if administration has an announcement, they will uh, add it themselves. And so be aware of your um, announcement section. And then also I would ask that you read your emails at least uh, once a day uh, or check them at least once a day and uh, reach out if you have any questions. Uh, with that being said, let's move on to our modules. So here's where you can access your textbook. Um, here's where questions to me. So I would ask that if you have any generalized question, ask them here and then that way everybody uh, or anybody else who might have had the same question will get a generalized answer. Now if it's one-on-one -on -one you need, again feel free to contact me via text, email, reach out and call me. Um, I'm very very open to uh, discussions. Uh, your modules are all set up the same, so make sure that you look at your objectives so you know exactly why you're doing what you're doing. You can relay them back to an objective. And then your reading assignments each week, and then you have a lecture each week. Now this week specific, we have Eagle Gate Cafe where we go in and we introduce ourselves and welcome everybody. And then you've got two discussion questions that are due you guys are all used to when discussion questions are due. The initial response is due by Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And then your reply to either myself or a student, at least two students, uh, is due by Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. If we go through, our first assignment is due in week three, so we'll click into that. And this is worth 200 points or 20% of your grade. And this is where you will access a link which is found down here, but it's also found in your lecture, um, introducing you to Team Steps. It's a communication uh, tool. It's, we utilize it in a lot of 
um, things that we do. And so we're asking you to watch this video and then answer these questions. Um, so for this assignment, consider yourself a newly hired quality and safety manager at an acute care facility. And your first task is to improve communication between the healthcare interprofessional team, especially at handoffs. Um, you attended a webinar for Team Steps and now looking to incorporate some of those tools you heard about the webinar um, into your practice. And so for each of the key concept areas for week three as listed in your syllabus, describe how the inclusion of concepts or tools from team steps or from your chapter readings will have a positive impact. Describe a concept or tool that would be helpful for each key concept. So here we have patient care, collaboration, teamwork. Here are the key concepts. Then we're asking you to choose one of those concepts or tools you described as one you will put into practice at the facility. So provide the name of the tool or concept and describe possible barriers you anticipate in implementing the tool or the concept you have chosen. So this is a really creative, innovative project for you to anticipate implementing at your facility and knowing, you know, your population that you work with, what might, what might some barriers be. Um, and so we're also asking you to describe a change theory you will utilize to make this change at your facility and ensure a more positive outcome. And we all know there's a variety of different change theories out there. So I would ask you to start researching on those change theories. Or if you have one that you reluctantly go back to, like Lewin's change theory, I really like his. Um, what are some other, other change theories that you guys might utilize? Anybody? All right off hand. If you're talking, I can't hear you. Nobody talking? Let me go back and make sure I'm still connected. Am I not connected? Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. Oh, okay, I wasn't sure. I can't see um, the screen, and so I wasn't sure if I was disconnected or not. So, okay. Um, so this would be a really creative um, presentation on effective communication and how you can implement a change. And there's always going to be barriers uh, with change, and so maybe start anticipating those and, and how you will um, overcome those. And so you're going to make up a teaching flyer that you would hand out to employees to teach them about the tool or concept you've chosen. So be as creative as you want with the flyer, um, visually appealing, you know, just it's, it's completely up to you on what you want to put in the flyer. Um, describe your tool and how uh, you will be implementing it. Identify who is to utilize this tool and then include anticipate, um, I can never say that word, anticipatory benefits of using this. And then they, they're asking you to just include some more art, word art or images. So of course we all know that to make it visually appealing, you can add um, pictures, highlights. Word art is, is really easy to do. You can create your own word art. Um, and then so including this, so it's asking you, you, st you, you must, you still have to have a title page and a reference page. The body of your paper must be two to three pages in length, including the one page flyer. Okay. I was trying to figure this out. Um, I understand that this still says six edition, so I'm gonna ask Mandy to update this to the seventh edition. Um, and so what, what are your guys' thoughts about, about this? Do you just want to do the flyer, upload a flyer instead of a document? What are, what are your thoughts? I think it can be confusing where you're doing a paper yes. that's two to three pages plus a flyer. 
I yeah. see one or the other. Right. And, and I would be okay with just a flyer, um, however you want to submit that. And so I'll go ahead and take off the restrictions on just a Word document. Um, and so go ahead and just update or upload a flyer uh, that you have created. Um, and make sure that you have at least two current scholarly resources. We're utilizing seventh edition instead of sixth edition. So I will go ahead and update this today. And then go ahead and follow your um, uh, grading rubric and make sure that you've captured each area that you should have on your flyer. Okay. Because when I read through this, and, and I'm, I, I thank you for being um, flexible in accepting these instructions, but I think to not add confusion, I believe that was Chris that had said it before. Let's just upload a flyer. I don't, I don't want you guys to have a title page or a reference page. I think you can add your references, you know, onto your flyer at the bottom part of your flyer um, or throughout your flyer like you normally would. So go ahead and just update or upload a flyer if that would be okay. Okay. Um, let me see. Okay. So that's your module three assignment. So let's go back out to modules. So any questions on your first assignment that's due in week three? I think I'm good. Okay. Awesome. Um, question, Doctor, uh, is still need to be uh, three pages or? Um... No, just a flyer. So whatever flyer you want, as long as you can capture all of the required material on that flyer. Um, I just want you to upload your flyer. I don't want you to have to do the extra work of putting uh, a paper together. I just don't know why you would have to do both. Um, so just just add the flyer, upload the flyer. Uh, and I'm just gonna make a note, module three assessment. I wanna take out all of, or module three assessment, I want to take out all of the um, restriction documents. Thank you, Doctor. So you can upload whatever you want. Remove restrictions. Yeah. I think it would be confusing to do both. I don't know. I, I don't understand why you would do both. So just do a flyer and as long as you capture all of the requirements on your flyer and you have references on there, you will be good. Okay, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, week four, we have our usual discussions, our lecture, our reading and objectives. Week five, uh, we have two discussion questions, but then there's also a preview for module six assignment so you can start looking at that and so we'll dive into that assignment next in week six so week six you've got two discussion questions but then let's look at your next major assignment we're at 250 points so this is a team project and so your the team will receive a grade um, that will be the grade for all members of that team you will be divided up into a team of three to four to work on the project and you will form a work team. You will communicate and work together to enhance care outcomes in one of the following areas. So these different areas here. So let's see, I believe we have how many, let me go into people. And we have, we don't have very many of you. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six of you. So there'll be two to a team. Would that be okay? Yes, doctor. Yeah, two to a team. Let's get back into um, this is this assignment. So there'll be two of you working together, which which that'll be okay to um, however you want to meet together via Zoom or um, phone call or whatever you want to do to um, get this project done. And so two of you um, to a team, and then. 
This assignment will also include a report on your team communication as well as an evaluation of team communication and completion of tasks. And why we do that is because we want to make sure that each member of the team is pulling their weight. Now, whether there's only two of you, that's not going to be a problem. But, you know, the, I think this happens more with the larger teams. When you've got five or six on a team, there might be that one person that might just be not pulling their weight. And if the group is getting an overall grade, we want to make sure that everybody has done their fair part. Um, and so we, you're working towards a plan to enhance patient outcomes. Again, these three areas, you'll be two of you will be assigned to falls, two of you will be just assigned to hospital acquired infections, and two of you will be um, assigned to hospital readmission readmissions. Um, the facility type and plan will be determined by the group based on shared knowledge, skill set, and research performed. Uh, you will prepare and present a plan to enhance patient outcomes related to the chosen option. Of course, we have to have scholarly literature. And then your nursing exp expertise will come into play with that. Um, you will re prepare a report of your team to include a discussion of different leadership styles between the two of you. Um, define team member roles and responsibility. Um, a report on work group dynamics, so any tasks, um, how did you come together, you know, you're forming, norming, uh, all those phases of work group dynamics. Now with only two of you, this should be pretty, pretty easy to do. Um, and then communication options utilized in evaluation of these choices, so like Canvas chat rooms, phone calls, FaceTime, Skype, whatever you guys want to use to to meet is, is up to you. Um, any conflict um, and conflict resolution, if there was conflict between the two of you, how was that um, handled or resolved? Now, this is a paper, um, minimum of four to five pages in length, does not include the title or ref so that those four to five pages does not include your title page or your reference page, it's the beefy part of the paper. And again, seventh edition will be used and I will have Mandy update this. And then you need at least three current scholarly resources, okay? Now, even though this is, yep, this is in week six, during week six, you'll present their plan and provide a discussion of team dynamics and communication process at a virtual conference. Oh, really? Hmm. So is this just anticipatory or a virtual conference? Hmm. Uh, I'm thinking this might be a look at it as you are actually presenting this during a virtual conference, because as far as I know, we don't have any coming up. Here is your core, here's your uh, rubric. Make sure that you capture everything on the rubric. I think it's self-explanatory. Let me look into this because I'm not sure. Conference call during week six. Hmm. Let me ask the previous instructor how they did this. But knowing that this isn't due until week six, I definitely will let you know how, how we are going to do this. That might just be something where you present it to me over Zoom, uh, or if they want more of the uh, administration involved in that. Uh, but we'll, we'll get that figured out between now and week six. Would that be okay? Hey, that's fine. Doctor. I, I hope it, it will be only you. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> um, but I will, I'll ask, um, I think Dr. Bohr taught this last time. So I'll ask her what she did. Um, I'll ask her what she did if it was just a, you know, because I can make a Zoom meeting for us. Uh, you guys give me a time and a date on when you want to present it. And then I can make a Zoom meeting and then I'll just be present and you guys can present to me. Um, so I'll, I'll figure that out. Um, 
So I'm, I'm or a suggestion, doctor. How about if we will record and we will send it to you, <laughs> so you can <laughs> <laughs> you can grade it on your site. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, let me let me reach out to Donna and see how she did this because that might also be an option where you um, do. We all have access to Zoom. Yes, yes, we do. I have, I the, uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Yes. Yeah, and you know what? I will. Um, I'll I'll try to figure it out and see how she did it last time. But um, I want to cause less anxiety. Uh, and so if if it comes down to where we just have a, where you guys record it and send it to me, and then I listen, um, I think that would be fine as well. Um, just because of our time frame and by the time you present it uh, and then grading it. So let me uh, figure out how to do this uh, week six assignment and then I'll follow up with you as soon as, as soon as we develop a plan, okay? Um, or um, another suggestion, doctor, maybe we can present uh, a PowerPoint with recorded uh, explanation. Oh, yeah, voiceover PowerPoint, sure, <laughs> yes. sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd be okay with that as well, as long as Thank both, you. as long as both of you are on that PowerPoint, um, I don't have a problem with that either. So, um, how about this? I'm just trying to think. Because you still have a paper. Title page. Yes, doctor, we can present the paper along with a PowerPoint with a voice yeah. recorder. Yeah. Would you guys be okay with doing voice over PowerPoint? Um, I'm not sure how, I don't, I don't, I mean, you guys will know better the logistics of how you both can do that, but I would be okay with getting your paper submitted. Um, and then um, also a presentation where you would have voice over and you upload that. And then that's what I would, I would grade both of those. Yes, yeah, we can, um, Dr. Maddie, we can definitely do both. Like, if there's a point where we have to explain it, we can share our screen, mm -hmm. and then we can switch to sharing our screen to a PowerPoint as well, and mm -hmm. then both speakers can be there. So as long as we're able to share our screen, we can shift from the paper and to the PowerPoint, and okay. then we can, yeah. Okay, okay. Because I think it's all about communication and how to utilize technology to do that and so um yeah so i will um put a plan together and let you know exactly how we're going to do this but we have a couple weeks uh before we actually have to do it so that's good thank you doctor, thank you, doctor. yeah yeah um so that's module six assignment and then i believe we had something in week seven Again, we've got your objectives, your reading assignment, your lecture, two discussion questions. Now let's look at this module seven assignment. Um, so this is worth 175 points. So for this assignment, you will use the same person you communicated with for the discussion question this week. So let's go back to discussion question and let's look here. Um, so for discussion question one, for this activity, you must choose someone to, to, to communicate with. They must be within the age of either five years old through 14 or 65 through 100. And your task is to explain to this person what you know about relieving stress and relaxation and how this could benefit them. Um, refer back to chapter 22. And then, of course, we're going to utilize the same person for your assignment, okay? So we're asking you to share with us the age of the person you communicated with and describe the techniques you used to ensure the person understood. That's going to be a good one. How did they understand what you told them and gained from your communication? So I think this will really be fun. This will be a fun project because, you know, not all, 
you know, how do you know when you're educating a patient or a colleague that they have understood you? Do they just shake their head or how do you, how do you evaluate your teaching? So this will be really, really good. I think this will be a really uh, in-depth conversation here for week seven. But, but um, then, doctor, I'm sorry. Yeah. But, so how many, how many subjects or how many um, person do we need? Just one. Oh, just one. Okay. Yep. Yep. It has to be between the age of five or four, mm -hmm. five to 14 and then, or 65 to a hundred. So we're missing the majority of us here. We want to <laughs> do a, a younger, a youth or a older person. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I think the reason why they chose these two age groups is because there are some uh, unique qualities within each of these age groups that we might, you know, some maybe uh, would be a barrier. Um, so I, I think this will be awesome, but it's just one person, whoever that person may be, could be a colleague. Okay. Uh, could be your child or your grandchild or our parents, somebody, okay. Um, so then discussion two, I don't believe, um, yeah, we just have a case study for this one, okay. So then let's go back to our assignments for seven because you're gonna utilize that same person from discussion one into your assignment. So now you're asking, so you've chosen your, uh, patient to talk with. Uh, you're explaining about relieving stress and relaxation and how this could benefit them. So now we're asking you to create a paper, a minimum of two to three pages in length, introducing us to your patient. So the age and gender um, do not include names, of course, because this is all, um, you know, we just don't want names out there. Um, Include just one initial of the person as a reference throughout your paper. So if you're interviewing Becky, just um, refer, to her, refer to her as B, okay? Just don't add the full name. And then based on a theoretical framework, which you guys have already utilized theoretical frameworks in your previous um, studies, and then describe the developmental stage of your participant or any special needs that may impact communication. Um, describe any barriers, describe at least two skills, techniques, or strategies you utilized to enhance communication based on the age of your participant and share what theories uh, you incorporated in your communication decision-making. Describe the environment where the communication took place and then the impact on the environment to the communication, that's an interesting one, you know, where there are a lot of, um, if you had an elder person that maybe had a hearing aid, was, did you interview them in a loud copy shop or anything like, which I don't know that you would do that, but just in case you did, uh, what was the impact that the environment had on this communication and their understanding? Um, describe how gender played a role in communication. Again, include any techniques you utilize to enhance communication, and then evaluate the whole experience. Describe how you assessed for understanding of your message. Describe uh, how the conversation went and whether the participant gained from the experience and understood the message. I'm excited to read these. I think this will be exciting to do, okay? So you're gonna utilize the same person for week seven discussion one, and then bring dive a little bit deeper into that patient to complete this assignment this week. Again, APA seventh edition, we will be utilizing. I will make sure and update that. Here's your rubric to make sure uh, that you captured everything. And again, two to three pages, uh, does not include your title page or your reference page, and then a minimum, a minimum of two scholarly resources. What are your thoughts about this assignment? Yeah, I like it. It's interesting. Yeah. I mean, I'm interviewing. <laughs> yeah. 
Already and, has one in my mind. <laughs> good, good. And I'm sure you guys are already thinking about, ooh, mm -hmm. I have somebody that would be excellent for this assignment. So I'm excited to read uh, what you guys have done and um, the barriers that you might have been presented with and how you overcame those barriers and uh, especially the evaluation to see how you know that your participant understood what you were trying to tell them. So I'm excited uh, for week seven. And before you know it, it'll be here. <laughs> Almost Christmas time by now, so. All right. So if we go back to modules. And then of course we just have our week eight and you know that classes end on Wednesday, December 23rd at 11.59 p.m. And then we will have a break from work and from school. Yay. So any questions about this course? Um, I'm going to stop sharing so, so I can see you guys. Sorry, okay. I'm so dark here. Um, we had the light on and then it was turned off. So, um, so just know that I'm going to look at the, um, I'll remove the restrictions in the module three assignment. I think we're just going to present the flyer. I don't want you guys to have to write a paper. It doesn't make sense to do both. And so just uh, think about how creative you can be with your flyer. Um, and then I will update all of the instructions to refer to the seventh edition APA, which you guys know that we're going to be utilizing that anyway. Um, but it should stay, it should say seventh edition on there. Um, and then I will go ahead and do you guys have a preference on who, who you work with? Is there, are there two people that work next to each other that would really be, it would be easier for you to work with? Um, or do you want me just to just go down the list? Do you want me to make assignments now? For that group? Do you guys want to work with um, somebody in that can't say it specific or? Do you have a suggestion, Ms. Gigi? Yeah. Can we can we group again? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So Army and uh, Gigi are together. Yes, Doctor. Thank you. Army and Gigi. Okay. Don, anybody um, out of the class that I see Chris is on the line. Um, I'm so else far away from everybody. Everything would have to be over the computer. So. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Don. Who would you like? <laughs> Does it matter? Okay. Yeah, we can go together. Well, I, I'm going to put Don and Chris together just because you're here. Okay. You're here. Okay. And then the other two, um, I will put together as a team. And so I will create an announcement and put it in the announcements today about who your teams are. So you can start working on your team assignments. Um, and then start thinking about who you might want to um, do that communication project with. What to, you know, it has to be anywhere between age five to fourteen, and then sixty-five and older. I'm just going to say sixty-five and older because if you have a hundred and one-year-old patient, use that patient. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, any questions? thus far i know we went over it really really quick um any questions you guys might have i think this will be a fun class on communication we all nurses are always about um, therapeutic communication and so we really will be able to hone in on our communication communication skills and i'm just excited for this class it's it'll be a lot of fun um, Papers are not that heavy. Um, you've got a flyer. Um, I think it'll be a good course. It'll get us through to the holiday. And then how many more courses do you guys have? I think six one, more. Uh, yes. Six. One wow, more year. That's, <laughs> one, yeah. one year. Yes. 
Good. Good for you guys. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, okay. So you've got my contact information. You know how to contact me anytime. Contact me, call me, text me, email me. Uh, I know that life happens and I know that you guys are always busy. And so there's nothing we can't get through or work through. So um, we'll just start off running and uh, we'll just have a good time. So Dr. Maddie, the um, groupings, that yes. would just be for assignment six, right? And then yes. you're just going to assign us yeah. um, which one of the three would be your, like for me and Chris. Oh, well, let's see. Let's do it now. <laughs> Thank you. Let's do it now because then I can just write, then I can just uh, put the little announcement out. So is it, I think it's module three, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Chris, are you comfortable with a specific topic did you do you have a preference <laughs> um do i have a preference <laughs> Actually, let me give the options uh, again <laughs> yep i'm gonna i'm gonna find them here I, I think it was must be module six or something. Mod model six yep module six okay so we have decrease or eliminate number of falls um, decrease or eliminate hospital acquired infections or decrease or eliminate hospital readmissions. So Army and Gigi. Number two. Two? <laughs> Are you okay, Gigi? Hand Are washing. <laughs> Hand washing, that's right. <laughs> so hospital acquired infections. Um, mm -hmm. Don and Chris, what are you thinking? Chris, what do you want? Not it. <laughs> <laughs> falls or hospital readmissions? Let's do falls. Do you want to do falls, Don? Falls is fine, yes. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Uh, in the last group, those two, you never, I mean, when you don't, when you don't, uh, come to a meeting, you always get the last, right? <laughs> All right, so the last one will be hospital readmissions. Okay, and that way you can start working on that in your spare time, <laughs> if we have any, right? Okay, <laughs> awesome, good, okay. So double check, Army and Gigi have hospital acquired infections. Mm -hmm. Don and Chris have falls, and then who else? It's Jennifer. Jennifer and Stephen would be. Jennifer, is it Stephen or Stephen? Stephen. Stephen. Jennifer and Stephen. Okay. So look for an announcement. I will create an announcement regarding your groups. Um, okay. Awesome, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So. Any other questions? I know we're about quarter after five, quarter after four, your time. Um, we're off and running and uh, we'll just communicate throughout since this is communication. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you very, very I'm much, you guys. I'm excited for this class. <laughs> Me too, Don. I'm just excited to see you guys again. You know, I had you for that one short time and then I'm like, where'd they go? Come on, I want it. Um, so when I was asked to teach this 510, I was like, yes, please. Yes, because I always Thank learn you. from my colleagues. So um, I'm excited. So okay. thanks, Dr. Maddie. Thanks, All right, ladies. Good to see you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Okay, you guys, thank you. And just reach out if you need anything, but have a great week. Try to breathe and get some rest. And uh, okay, awesome. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Bye. Doctor. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.